Hey, hey, Mike Ingrich here. Thank you for joining me for another Live with Mike. And I'm going to keep this short, keep this sweet, and get to it. Uh, today, I want to talk about ways, and particularly one company, in time mailbox, that you can uh, securely get mail forwarded to you. So this comes into play in many shapes and forms. Um, one example is uh, just for privacy issues, so that um, you don't want to give out your permanent home address. Um, but you need to get something shipped to you. So you can use Anytime Mailbox and they will give you an actual physical address. Um, and one of their services then allows that physical uh, address that has received the mail to forward it on to you. So that's a beautiful benefit um, for many businesses. Uh, this is a no brainer as well, particularly for people who work from home like myself, uh, so that you don't have to put your home address out there and, um, keep that um, up and, uh, and make it public, but you can keep that private by having a physical address somewhere else. And they have an online portal, which allows you to go through and check um, all of your mail online and say, that's junk, get rid of that, forward that on to me, da 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 da, da. keep going with all those pieces. So um, here's a few of the features there that you can take a look at the Anytime Mailbox, mail forwarding service, as I said, open and uh, scan, as I said. Um, so basically they, they scan even the contents of the mail um, to read it virtually. And so that you can take a look at that. So again, maybe you're on the road a lot, a digital nomad, whatever, you can use this because they also have that service, which will not only just show you the envelope, but we'll open it, we'll scan it so that you can read through the three pages that are in there and determine what you need to do with it. Uh, one of the other key features with that, you think, okay, what can I do, um, is to do check deposits. So, I mean, again, checks come to you and they can actually get those deposited into your account working through that. Um, obviously, this offers security to you. So, um, their site is SSL uh, encrypted. And uh, these are physical real street addresses, not just post office boxes uh, that they use for that. And uh, unlimited storage comes with it. Um, there's multiple tiers in the payment plan option and all those kind of pieces. So just wanted to highlight this tool. I think it's an important tool that's coming into play more and more with um, you know, people on the go, digital nomads, um, people from, you know, even, you know, personal people that uh, at home want to not have something uh, don't want to give out their physical address to the place, but they still need something shipped to them. So you can use this as an intermediary and businesses who want to kind of protect, particularly businesses, individuals, solopreneurs working from a home office who want to protect, um, not have their home address out there for everybody to see. You can use this. and um, But I really like it for digital nomads as well so that, uh, you know, you can do this stuff digitally. I mean, um, how many of us get tired of going through the junk mail? You got one piece of good pieces of mail, six pieces of junk, and you had to deal with that. Um, what if you could just do that in uh, the online portal? And, uh, you know, you could uh, yak, yak, delete, 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 delete. Yep, send that one on to me and taken care of. All right, so that's what Anytime Mailbox can do. So I wanted to point out this tool to you. Go to my uh, blog and read more about it and get the links to their site from mine. And uh, hopefully that is a good tool idea for you and uh, can help uh, save you some time, keep it private, uh, used in many different ways, shapes, and forms today. All right, this is Mike. Have to Mike podcast. Hey, I need some feedback though. Um, think about stopping doing these videos. Uh, just get keeping up with the blog because I don't get any feedback. Um, is this podcast helpful? Do people listen to this? Uh, or do you just come to the blog and take a look at it? Or neither. So if um, if you've gotten this far and you hear this and uh, you can give me some feedback either in the comments in the video um, or in the podcast. I'd appreciate that so I can know if I should keep this going or not. All right, this is Mike over and out. Take care.